Hey and welcome to this quick tips video about a new add-on I made for Blender. This add-on provides some utility functions to work with emoticons inside of Blender. For example, if you go to my GitHub page to the add-on, the link will of course be in the description, uh, you get a short overview of the features. You can convert Mixamo to emoticons. Mixamo provides motion capture animation and when you convert Mixamo to emoticons, you can use this to import those to Minecraft. Um, also, uh, this add-on has a feature to apply morph trackers to a to an emoticons model, and yeah, that can be very helpful if you have a lot of trackers and emoticons morphs. So let's just start by downloading this. Go to releases, and here we'll download the latest release. Um, download the zip file because that's the installable add-on. Now let's head over to Blender. Here we'll go to Edit, Preferences and in the tab Add-ons we will click Install and here we'll go to uh, the file where we have installed it. Uh, we'll just click here and then it should be installed. Then you just need to activate this and that's it. Now if we go to the side here and click this arrow, we will have a new tab here, Emoticons Utils. Here are all those features located and let's just start with Convert Mixamo to Emoticons. For this we first need to um, append the Emoticons model. So go to Append and choose the Blender file which has the Emoticons model. You can download the model uh, from the tutorial from my course about how to export emotes. Um, yeah, go to object and here you can choose the armature and the body object and now we have it imported. Alright, so what we need to do now is to select the emoticons model here, the emoticons armature to be precise. So we'll choose that. Um, yeah, this field is to choose the Mixamo rig. So now let's download a Mixamo rig. Click download and um, yeah, leave all those settings at the default. Um, I will choose 60 frames per second and download it. Now we'll head over to Blender again and we will import the, the FPX file here. Go to downloads and yeah, leave all those settings here at uh, the default because um, some settings might break the add-on's functionality. For example, you shouldn't activate automatic bone orientation because this will change uh, the armature and that's not good. Just import the FX file and now we have our animation here. So now we want to import this into Minecraft. For this we need to convert it. Choose the Mixamoric you imported. Um, this should be mature, yeah, that object. And now we have to choose our frame range. So the animation ends at frame 206. So we input 206. Frame step is um, yeah, how many frames should be used, how many frames uh, should be stepped. Uh, for example, if we import five, only every fifth frame will be um, applied to the emoticons rig. So with one every frame will be applied. This option, um, if you enable it, you can convert the animation of the hands. So the this animation here will be applied to the end bones here. This bone here. Use neck, shoulder and spine. This option will use the um, yeah, the, the, those bones here, for example, if the shoulder moves, this animation will be applied to the arm. And limit rotation axis. Um, also, the buttons all have tooltips, so if you hover over with your mouse, you can have an explanation. And yeah, let's just press convert. And now we can see, um, yeah, let's uh, rotate this by 180 degrees. Alright, so. 
Yeah, as you can see, it worked wonderfully. And now you can export this to Minecraft. Let's move on with the next feature, apply morph trackers. This is especially useful for the tracking feature of Aperture. We'll import a tracking file I've prepared. All right, so this is my tracking file and I've tracked quite a lot of emoticons morphs, as you can see. Those are a lot of bones. And if I now would want to apply the emoticons model to all of those trackers, I would need to do that manually. But with the tracker feature here, with the add-on, we can do this all automatically. Yeah, first of all, we need to import our emoticons model. In the description, you will find a link to a Google Drive folder where I uploaded every single emoticons model, for example, a simple plus model or default, default 3D, all of, of, all of those models are in this folder in the video description. And um, I even, I cleaned up the weights because the weights in Blender were a little bit different than what is seen in the mod in in-game. And now let's import the model. Um, in this video, uh, in Minecraft, I use default 3D. So I'm going to choose default 3D, go to object, armature, body. Outer is the second layer of the skin. So if you have a second layer, you will need to import that too. All right, so now we have our Motocons model, which we want to apply to all of those trackers. We need to again choose it here. I like to just choose armature, I think. Again, to remind you and show you how many trackers those the are, that's a lot. Also, an important thing is that you use keywords for the trackers in Minecraft, otherwise this won't work, of course. The add-on will check for keywords like left leg, uh, left arm, head. Um, the order isn't really important, so you could also have arm, left. However, it is very important that you have those keywords like left and arm, so the add-on can identify which bone this is. Um, for the end bones, it is very important that you also include a dot end, so end won't be enough, you need a dot in front of the end. Um, all of those keywords are listed on the GitHub page, so you can look that up. All right, so uh, now we need to choose the root collection. Um, as you can see here at the top, it, you know, all of those trackers are directly uh, located in this collection. So we need to choose the collection, which is yeah, the direct root collection of all of those trackers. And uh, that's the collection in this case. Uh, this here, collection keywords, if I would deactivate sort them off trackers, I would have to manually sort all of those uh, tracker rigs here. Let's. Uh, Let's do that as an example. Press M. Now we can move the selection to a new collection and we would have to name it Morph Trackers or Trackers Morph 2 or something like that. So it is important that Morph and Trackers, those keywords are contained in the collection name. Um, it doesn't matter in which order. But uh, yeah, as I have said, uh, we don't want to do any manual work here. So we'll just leave this on, sort the morph trackers, and this basically does everything for you. So let me demonstrate it to you. Let's press the button. And as you can see here, it uh, sorted all of those tracker rigs into collections. Morph trackers one, two, three. Uh, you will also see that um, yeah, it shows these numbers here. So. It cleans up all of those names and sorts them after them. You could also have uh, Steve here as a name or with an underscore. That would also be okay. Um, I think even with a, with a space should be okay. However, it is important that you complete your whole emoticons morph has Steve at the end. Yeah, so we would have to rename everything here. So then, uh, yeah, the script will sort those trackers according to this all right so now you can see everything worked wonderfully we can even deactivate all of those collections here and yeah if we choose a background image for the camera add image movie clip 
open and then choose your Minecraft scene. Um, let's put it in front of it. Yeah, as you can see, it worked wonderfully. Now you can do uh, physics simulations, particles, CGI light, uh, CGI shadows, I don't know, whatever you want. I hope this will help you with your tracking shots or uh, with your mixamo animations. And yeah, that's it for this tutorial. Bye.